Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for today's video. Today's video is something that I've been working on lately. I've, I've been trying to share with you guys, kind of helping you have more self-awareness so we know how to navigate through our lives and relationships, stuff like this. This is another one like it, the victim default theory, something that I, I made up myself, unless it already exists out there. I didn't bother to look it up. From a pattern of narcissistic relationships beginning in our childhood. We are creatures of comfort. Really, I get all the time, David, how, how do I be happy? I just want to be happy. I want to be happy. Well, happiness um, is more of a fleeting emotion during moments. We can't be happy all the time, right? But what we really want is comfort. We want comfort. We seek comfort in our relationships, the biggest source of comfort and stress. So we build our nests anywhere, anywhere. If you, if, you know, people that go to prison, they're forced to, they have to, they have no other alternative, right? They can't run away and escape. They're forced to be stuck in prison. And they realize this and they accept it at some point and they start building their nests in prison. And um, typically after someone's in prison for a while, they may start to tell you that it's not that bad. I got some friends here. I get to have what I want in here. I get to watch TV. I get my pictures and my posters and I get to my crafts and you know, it's not that bad, right? We, we try to accept things, uh, our, our environment, if we can't change it, and we build our nest in it and just want comfort, right? A lot of us, you know, we don't want to get stuck in our comfort zone. You hear that a lot? A lot of us can't even really build a comfort zone. It's sad. Um, and, you know, a lot of us may have stress disorders, and this is what causes it, the not feeling like we have any control over our environment and accept no matter how, how bad it is and just try to make it better instead of leave, instead of leave it, end it, which we were not taught in childhood. Trauma, from our traumas, we have fear. We may be in life or death mode. And really all we're trying to do is just avoid danger, avoid stress, and we don't really know how. We, but what happens is we never really do what we want. We do what we have to do. It's all about what we have to do and we kind of forget and put aside and not do what we want to do. We survive, not thrive, right? So new relationships will always have problems and problems will always arise and this can be stressful and we keep trying to keep it comfortable, right? And that might be different ways that we learned to not, you know, not talk about things, not, you know, not handle it, not fix it, not present it as a problem and address it. Um, Stress makes us fold. We don't maybe have a normal reaction to danger, the fight or flight, where we fawn or freeze, I call fold. And we keep trying to make that nest more and more comfortable, keep trying to make our partners more comfortable and happy so they just stop, so the stress stops. But what we're not focusing on is ourselves and what we want. And I hold my hand up a lot and I say, these are the five major parts of our true authentic self. And one of them, big one is what we want. And it's the most common one when I ask people, what do you want? They may not even know. They may not know. And a lot of us may just be stuck in, I just want to survive. I just don't want stress. I want to be comfortable. And everything we're doing is what we have to do. When really, we don't really have to do much. There's not a whole bunch in life that we have to do. I'd love for you guys to tell me things that you feel like you have to do. Like, like you don't have to pay your bills, right? You don't, you don't have to pay for electricity. You can live in your house in the dark, in the cold in the winter and hot in the summer. You can, you're allowed to, you don't have to. And when we feel like we have to, it's not fun, it's not exciting, it's not rewarding. Life becomes mundane when all we're doing is what we have to do. And we don't get to do what we want. And the things that we're doing, we feel like it's not what we want to do. We have to. This is the best way for life to pass you by. Being still, just trying to stay alive. I'm going to go to my work and I'm going to go home and I'm just going to try to avoid this. And If we know what we want, we can achieve it. At least it's the beginning right? And if we learn how to reframe things, we'll feel more fulfilled. You're more likely to go to work or at least feel good or want to go to work 
when you realize that you want electricity. So by reframing things, we start to feel more in control of our life and doing things that we want to do and realizing there's not a lot that we have to do. And we don't feel that pressure and we start having more self-awareness. Do you see that? That's why people say, get out of your comfort zone. Break out of your comfort zone. And it's so true. We have to. We can't just stay in what we are trying to do is build our nest and stay comfortable. We do a lot of other things like this, building our nest by buying a lot of objects, making a lot of commitments we don't really want to. Not being able to leave, not being able to go on vacation, not being able to travel, not being able to get up and go. I can't, my stuff, my home, my relationships, all these commitments I have. And then we start to feel like we have to, and we don't. We don't have to. That have to causes so much extra pressure and extra stress on yourself. And you don't feel like you're in control. So increase your self-awareness, right? I make videos about what you emotionally need and your, what you value and your feelings, but know what you want. Start thinking about this all the time. Come up with, a, with what you want. Find a way to get it. That's your plan. And keep your plan in front of you all the time. And don't let other things come out and distract you from your plan. Like new relationships shouldn't be doing that. New relationships can inspire you to go and pursue what you want. Your plan. Not make it go away, fade away, don't care about it anymore, can't do it, don't have that much time. I'm making commitments to other people and they need and require my time, my space, my energy, so I can't do what I want. And life starts to pass you by so fast, so fast. If you went and traveled for a year and came back, the people at home would hardly know you were gone and you'd feel like you were gone for years. Life would feel better, okay? I hope this video makes you understand that we are more in control of ourselves and our environment by reframing. Being more self-aware is what it is. Because your self-awareness, your true authentic parts of yourself isn't what you have to do. It doesn't matter. It's what you want to do and what feels good, what you need. Okay? So figure out what you want all the time. Constantly think about what you want. Write it down. Remind yourself. Keep it in front of you every day. Have a plan. That plan can change every day, but just know what it is. Know what it is. So when someone tells you what do you want, you can answer. And that's self-awareness. Okay? The people that don't know what they want, I can always guarantee they won't get it. All right? I hope this um, video helps. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know some of the things that you do and exercises and ways that you reframe things into doing what you want instead of what you have to. Because it doesn't really matter what you do, guys. It only matters how you feel about it. Okay? Let me know what you guys think. Ask questions. Uh, anybody wants coaching, daviddemars.com. Love yourself first. Thank you, guys. See ya.